plants take carbon dioxide out of the air and convert it to sugars using the energy from sunlight, a process called photosynthesis. Scientists say that over time, plants have developed a glitch where they take some oxygen molecules instead of carbon dioxide. They call that photorespiration. And so when it does that, instead of producing a sugar, um, one of the molecules it produces is called glycolate. And it's considered a toxic compound because it can inhibit photosynthesis. Paul South with the U.S. Department of Agriculture says that weak photosynthesis results in smaller and fewer plants. In soybeans, uh, every year about 36 percent of the soybean crop is lost this process of photorespiration, but it's actually worse in hotter and drier climates. South led a study with the University of Illinois trying to find a repair for this crop glitch. And so what we've done is, is we've taken an engineering approach um, to kind of shortcut the entire process in plants. They genetically modified tobacco plants and put them through laboratory testing and ultimately into the field with real world agricultural conditions. What they saw was a 40% increase in plant size. South said that if they could increase the soybean and wheat production in the Midwest United States by 40%, it would be equal to about 148 trillion calories every year. Which is estimated enough to feed 200 million more people. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.